Well, hello there, boys and girls. My name is Bubbles the Clown, and have I got a treat for you. Hey guys, Gina here, just clowning around. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my circus item collection. These are things that I picked up from estate sales, garage sales, yard sales, thrift stores, and even curbside finds for free. So if you guys are into clowns and circus things, come with me. And if you're too creeped out, <laughs> well, I also do have some other videos you can go check out. What I thought would be fun is if I started with less creepy into kind of a little bit of creepy as into Gina, why do you own that? <laughs> and the first thing up is gonna be this beautiful carousel tin. It is gorgeous. Look at those little horses. Can you just imagine the circus music playing right now? Woo! It's got tons of, you know, animals up top. It looks like there's some, are those buffalo? or deer, there's alligators, zebra, there's a lion, there's monkeys, rhinos, there's even an organ, and there's a guy selling tickets somewhere on here too, all the way around. There he is. This is a Churchill's of London, and it had toffee inside. So that's something that I display year round. I found another tin with some clowns on it. And this is just a whole scene of clowns doing their thing. Look at those big old yellow shoes. And what's cool about this tin is that this used to play music back in the day. You could press this button and I can push it, but I don't think you're gonna hear much. So poor thing, <laughs> it's definitely seen better days, but there's that tin. So. <laughs> Those tins sit right next to my Sierra Vista clown cookie jar. This guy is from the 1950s and I got him at a yard sale for $3. And these guys can go for quite a bit of money. Unfortunately, mine has been glued and repaired several times. So he's probably not worth very much. And he does have some chips and some paint off, but I still love him so much. And for $3, man, you can't beat that. But he greets me every time I come into my kitchen. If you guys ever watch Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure, this cookie jar is also in Pee Wee's house. So there's a little fun Easter egg for you. And when you go into your kitchen, sometimes you like to get something cold and refreshing to drink. If it's got a bottle cap on it, you're gonna have to take that off. So here I present to you my clown bottle cap opener. <laughs> I also got this at a yard sale and he was a dollar and the lady was like, I'm not sure if I wanna sell that or not. And I was like, well, that's okay. She goes, well, no, I don't really wanna keep it. I'll see you about throwing away. I was like, throwing it away? No, I'll buy it for a dollar, give it to me. <laughs> and so uh, she said that she thought her mom had hand painted it. It was a color one time and she added the extra colors on there. So I think she did a great job if that's true to the story. But look at those little buck teeth right there. <laughs> this next find was at an estate sale. I woke up really early and I got there and there was a ton of stuff inside the house. But the reason why I went is because they had so much holiday decor and it was like, 10 boxes of Christmas, five boxes of Halloween. They had 4th of July, St. Patrick's Day. They had everything. You guys, I got so much stuff from this estate sale it and it was so cheap and I was just, it was awesome because nobody else was looking for holiday stuff. Everybody was worried about the jewelry and the furniture. And so I had the whole section to myself and I just kept filling my box up with stuff. And this was something that was in there and I got a set of two of them. So these are the hats. So I'll put that on for you. And then it came with some bow ties and a cape. 
came with some masks. <laughs> and there's two sets of those. So that's awesome. So I'll probably end up selling one of those so someone else can enjoy it too. But I don't know who made this set of masks. I'm gonna say this is probably from the 60s or 70s. It just says USA on there. They're so bright and vibrant. I'll show you the back side. Super fun, what a fun costume. This is like what you call accessories. <laughs> because you could make your costume or not even have very much of a costume and put this on and it's just its own costume in itself. And then the little bowler hat. But I was excited to find that and that there were two of them. So I snagged that up right away. Do any of you guys collect the old Halloween costumes? Haven't gotten into that yet. I always just figured I'd like to find them out in the wild. I know you can buy them on eBay, but I thought maybe rummaging through some boxes and then going, oh my gosh, there's an old costume in a box. That would be so much fun to find out at a yard sale or an estate sale. So definitely gonna look for those out in the future. All right, we have one more kind of normal thing and the rest is gonna start to get a little bit eerie. <laughs> but this was at a garage sale and the guy had so much cool stuff, but I found this. It's a create your own three ring circus. You guys, this thing is so awesome. I have looked and looked online and I cannot find anything. And I'm hoping that maybe somebody out there used to have this as a kid and you played with it and you can tell me about what year. I'm thinking this thing is 60s. Just, just gonna guess, but it's so cool. And I know people are kind of controversial on the whole circus thing, but I think if you're just pretending it's okay, right? So I set it all up for you guys. What's cool is it comes with this little mat and then you can put all of your pieces on it. So we've got the horse performer and a clown. There's a trapeze artist. There's a whole family of bears. Here we are <laughs> in the lion cage. We got a flaming ring, a lion tamer all of the elephants. And what's cool is they link their tails together. There's another trapeze artist. Some seals balancing balls on their nose. Look at that. Elephant standing on the ball. And a clown, we love clowns. And here are the clowns doing some tricks. Check that out. Is that not the coolest little play set? I love playing with this as an adult. I can't even imagine being a kid playing with this. So awesome. So yeah, for $3, you guys, that was an amazing find. I've never seen anything like that and I still can't find anything online. So if any of you guys have any idea on any information on that, I would love to know. The only thing it says is made in Hong Kong. No date, but yeah, so there's the box. All right, you guys, I just found this and it's so funny. Sometimes you go into yard sales and you never know what you're gonna find. You know, sometimes it's a lot of clothes, sometimes it's a lot of books or, you know, records and that kind of stuff you always expect to see, but you never expect to find one of these. And I'm so excited, you guys. He was only $1.50. I couldn't even believe it. Now, of course, he doesn't work. I tried the batteries, but if you push down on his head, You can make it move yourself, but check him out. Oh my goodness, did any of you guys see Toy Story? <laughs> now this little monkey, he is a sight. But he's in fairly good condition. There is a little bit of a rip on his knee right there. And his pants, I can turn it around right there. But I, I couldn't even believe it. It was just stuffed on the shelf with some other things. And I was like, yes, I'm gonna take that for sure. 
and a dollar fifty. I don't even think the guy charged me a dollar fifty for it. He probably just charged me a dollar, but that was an awesome score. So now I have a little circus monkey. <laughs> All right, you guys. These next couple of items are gonna start getting a little bit weird. <laughs> So the first one is back in the day, you used to just go to like Kmart and Walgreens and your drugstore to pick up little Halloween goodies before there was like spirit stores and I think Spencer's and stuff like that. So at Walgreens, I picked up this music box. Now this is not too old. This is about probably 10, 11 years old, maybe 2009, 2010 but I thought it was so cool. Now, viewer discretion beware. If you have children, this may be a little creepy for them <laughs> or adults. <laughs> so here we go. Yes, you did scare me. You always scare me, but you're wonderful. I mean, is that not the creepiest clown? Oh my goodness. So I found that and I had to get it. It's awesome. I'm gonna see. It doesn't even have who made it, but I know it came out the one year at Walgreens and I think these are a little bit hard to find, but I got one and I'm just gonna put you back, put you back in there. <laughs> and you can stay in there for another Halloween. <laughs> this next item is a beautiful hand-painted clown portrait. This thing is huge, you guys. I don't know if you can get a sense of how big it is. <laughs> but I got this at a yard sale and the guy was literally trying to put it in my trunk. He's like, my wife does not want this anymore. You have to take it. <laughs> So I, I took it and I uh, got a pretty good price on it. And he goes, if nothing else, the frame is worth some money. So I said, no, we'll definitely keep the clown. And it's one of those clowns where no matter where you go, he's always watching you. <laughs> and I love the juxtaposition of the blue on one side and the red on the other. Oh, doesn't this just give you all the feels? Hmm, is he a sweet clown? Is he a creepy clown? I mean, what the heck is he thinking? But it's great. Whoever did it did an awesomely good job. Oh, there's a name and it says 1980. Norman, oh gosh, I'll get close up so you guys can see. But I'm sorry, Norman, I don't know how to say your last name. But there you go, I'll give you credit like that. So now I think the clown's got a name. I'll just name him Norman. Maybe it's a self-portrait. <laughs> and last but not least, we have this beautiful, creepy mascot Sylvester head. <laughs> this is a homemade costume for a little kid back in the day. They were giving it away at a yard sale and I just couldn't leave it there. This is definitely one of those things where you're like, why? Why do you have that? <laughs> I could not leave him behind. He had to come home with me. He needed a new home where he could be appreciated. <laughs> but check that out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so this was a head to a Sylvester costume back in the day and it has definitely seen a lot of love through the years but there's the inside for those of you wondering. So there you go, guys. There's some of my Circus Creepy Clown collection. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun showing you. If you guys are new to this channel, we would love for you to subscribe, stick around, and check out a ton of other videos on our channel. And if you guys are oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for watching me again. Take care, and we'll see you next time.
Thank you.